Welcome to my channel, my name's Robin Clevett. Now, we use a lot of metal work and we do a lot of first fixing. In this case, I'm putting posi joists in and they're designed by the engineers and the manufacturers. They send them out to me, I agree the design obviously. They send them out to me and then we have a configuration of joists, different thicknesses, different lengths, different heights and we get beams as well. In here we've got a three ply beam and we've got these big hangers. Now the idea of the hanger is the strength, a lot of the strength comes from what they call the wrap and that's the top wrapping over. Now this three ply beam is in my floor which means that if I don't let these in over the top the chances are when I put my 22 mil egg of protect over the top it's going to want to form a hump. No matter how much adhesive you put on the adjacent joist it's going to want to form a hump. So what I like to do is recess them in. I just use a small palm router with a very economical two flute cutter and basically set it out, house them out. So when we put our hangers in, so these hangers basically, when we put this together, we back fix these, we laminate these together in position. You'll see that in a little bit of a bit. So when I slot these around afterwards here, I can fix them in really nicely to where they need to be. Fold the tops down, so if we get that fixed in, get my eye protection on these PPN nails. When you're using them so close, you really don't want them to be going adrift. And I will get my ears on as well. I must get my ears on. So, let's get this hanger in. So what I want to do first is now pull one up there, same on this side. So we get one in the top for now. them up they are going to be below our adhesive So what I like about that is the fact that they are all completely underneath of there now so I've got no, if you imagined having those in there without doing this recess they're going to be sticking and holding the floor up so that's the way I like to do it, I like to wrap around where possible, everything's perfect and super tight. So I hope you enjoyed that little tip, as I say be careful when doing any framing out, make sure you've got your PPE and all the rest of it especially when using these nail guns here because they're short nails they're going through holes and although they don't fly out very often it is super important that you've got your eyewear on your ear defenders and in some cases gloves albeit they're very difficult to use with the thick gloves on thanks for joining me i'm robin clevett see you soon